Hi, and welcome to Lit Chat. I had previously titled this section where I talk about books that I've read as what you're reading, but I really did not like that as a title for the section, so I've kind of decided on Lit Chat, but um, feel free to put a suggestion for a different, better, more creative name in the comments below. Please excuse me if I'm touching my bangs the whole time, but they're just getting in the way one of those days. So, the book that I wanted to talk about today is The Boy with the Cuckoo Clock Heart, and yes, I know that's not what it says on here, because I read it in the original French, and yeah, I love this. I wrote a post about it on my blog, so I'm basically going to be repeating that same information, and let's get straight into it. So The Boy with the Cuckoo Clock Heart, I think the best way to describe it is that it's a modern day fairy tale. Semi-modern. It begins in the late 1800s in Scotland, a place I love, and then they travel to Spain, which is also somewhere I kind of love. Uh, the main character is Jack. I'm sorry that I'm clapping the book around. The main character is Jack, who is born during a snowstorm and his heart freezes up so to save him the midwife that had assisted his birth decides to install a cuckoo clock thus he's the boy with a cuckoo clock heart uh, the literal translation is the mechanical heart but I think it's interesting the boy with a cuckoo clock heart as well and I really love this for anyone who is studying French I think it's simple enough that you will be able to understand it easily because I have read French before but it had been a while and I was very wary of starting on a new book in French but it's simple language but it's so visual it's just enchanting it's very touching um, it fills you up with hope you would feel very childlike reading it it's a wonderful love story, obviously, between the boy with the cuckoo clock heart and this girl that he meets as a child, and it tells his adventures trying to find this love of his life and win her over. It's... I'm not going to talk any more about it because that would include spoilers, which I do not want to do. I would definitely recommend this book for anyone. Read it in whatever language you want to, but just read it. It's very short, and I just absolutely plowed through this. I loved it so much. It's only about 150 pages, but it's a beautiful, beautiful story. It, re it reminded me a lot of Big Fish by Daniel Wallace, and Tim Burton directed the movie version of it, and I think if they did do a movie version of The Boy with the Cuckoo Clock Heart, then I could definitely see this being a project that Tim Burton would get behind, even if it was done in um, claymation, just like The Nightmare Before Christmas and uh, The Corpse Bride, all these sorts of movies that he's done. This would fit perfectly into that sort of world that Tim Burton creates. It's, it's just beautiful, so I highly recommend this. I will link below my Goodreads account, which is not Megs in the City as far as I remember. I think it's Megs Buchanan, but I will link it below. I'll also have the entry of my blog where I wrote the post about this. I don't think I really talked about much more than I already did right now in this video, but if you want to check it out, then feel free to. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. It reminded me a lot of Big Fish by Tim Burton, and I, er, sorry. Shut up, Meg.